YouTube, what is going on? We are back with another I neverness to everness video. Normally I say what a wing waves. I gotta come up with what they say, neverness to everness, probably something like that. Uh, I have to say they have been so responsive to tons of content creators, including myself, just within the past 48 hours or 72 hours, whatever it is. Um, I truly believe that this game is going to do extremely well, especially with the level of transparency that we have had within literally the first 72 hours. I love Widowing Waves, um, but this is this is very good. Like, obviously, what was very transparent, I mean, like, but they're talking, like, right out the gate. Hey, this is what we're working on. Let's get right into it. There's a bunch of news. Their website is up. You could officially pre-register. I'll leave this to a link in below, and they do show you the characters. We'll go over some characters in a little bit, my thoughts. Uh, some feedback, because they are very open to feedback. But, so after releasing the announcement trailer in the game, show, we received a ton of feedback from players worldwide. We saw comments like, this is not exactly what I want, and this gameplay would definitely be fun, as well as long as suggestions, oh my lord, saying this part of the design is just more refinement and the design would be better if done differently, etc. Uh, all this feedback is very valuable to us, and we appreciate the player's trailer, etc. So, they're going over their future plans. So, let's break these down. Uh, let's see if I can do this this way, and you guys can still read. I think you guys would be able to read that, right? So... Uh, here, maybe I could do this, if anything. Uh, bam. Maybe this make it a little bit better. And, okay. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. So, first thing is optimization. Now, I will say, the, the first thought that comes to my mind is, A, this is already confirmed to be a PS5 game, which is very nice. Obviously, that's a massive, massive W's on the shot. But, if... I don't know if this is going to go down the traditional mobile um, route for gacha games. And I feel like a lot, a majority of the income for these gacha games come from mobile communities. So this game being made on Unreal Engine 5 uh, is really dope. No open, like completely open world from what we've seen. Very minimal loading screens. I am nervous about people's phones and if this will potentially affect the actual revenue of the video game. But that's... I, that's like just it is what it is like that's just something that's gonna have to come along with the game and they'll have to figure it out so question i'm very excited about uh but also worried about the optimization using unreal engine 5 will the game be well optimized especially for mobile play optimization for multi-platform is a key focus for us we have received our concerns about mobile adaptation rest assured we will do our best to ensure a smooth experience on mobile cloud minimizing the quality gap with other platforms i mean that's really all they could say uh they really they really can't say more than that you know it's not like they have a definitive um you know, what, what else are I going to say? You know what I mean? So, like, that's that's cool. I love that. Um, and I believe it. I believe it. I think so far from what we've seen, the game looks pretty well refined. We'll go over some stuff in a moment, but the action system. The action system still lacks polish, especially the running animation, which looks weird. We've seen a lot of feedback from players that the lack of smoothness and character movements, such as running and getting in and out of vehicles, we've already started further polishing details on the action system to bring everyone a better exploration experience. Um... I, I didn't think that it looked too crazy, but maybe I was just so hyped to the point where I genuinely didn't notice if it looked stiff or whatnot. Um, we, we could pull it back up again to look at it, but I, I didn't find that anything came off really stiff. Look, let's just be very transparent with you. Um, I like TOF. I did. I really liked it for what it was, and if honestly the optimization was bad, I would still play it, which actually then I'm going to re-download it tonight. We're going to give it another shot and make a video on it. Um, I think it looked good. I think it looked smooth. And I think, like, I didn't see any clunkiness to it, but we'll review the footage again after in a moment. But, hey, listen, if people are seeing that and I'm not seeing that the, and they're listening, that's good, right? So, it's awesome. The biggest shortcoming to the trailer seems to be the combat. Target interactions and other aspects are lacking. I, I don't know how we can come to this conclusion because we, we haven't seen that much combat, but... They're addressing it. So, as a supernatural world combat based on Esper abilities and anomalies, I assume their skills and ults, is a crucial aspect for us. We have received to carefully summarize your feedback on combat interactions, targeting, effect, uh, targeting effects, and other optimizations suggest based on the trailer. We're currently working hard on these optimizations, so please rest assured. UI, we uh, current UI does not match the game's tone. Comprehensive opt. I, I don't know, man. I really haven't. I didn't have an issue with any of this. I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I think the UI is pretty simple and i think it's just realistically a carbon copy of genshin and wuwa's ui and i think that's good because when you're in a game like this you want it to feel familiar 
I don't know if maybe like the font or like the, the squares maybe feel too serious. I don't know. I, I don't know how you can really complain about the UI. Maybe they were talking about the car UI here. Um, this feels like Grand Theft Auto to me. It feels like a Grand Theft Auto UI, and I don't think that's bad. So I, I really don't see anything wrong with the UI. Uh, that I wasn't really seeing. But, you know, again, people are pointing this out. Uh, I, I didn't see it, but we're going to keep it going. So first panel, solid. Let's download this image. I should have downloaded this before, but whatever. What can you do? Whatever. So, okay, bam. So now we go over here, and this is uh, credibility of the single take PV. So the gameplay trailer promises a lot, but what? But I want to know, can the game really be played seamlessly from start to finish? We can assure you that the current content we have developed, including most of the gameplay shown in the trailer, can be experienced seamlessly. However, there are indeed a few story-driven gameplay segments that require loading screens. Objectively speaking, achieving 100% seamless loading presence presents various challenges in game development, but striving towards the goal and ensuring an interrupted smooth gaming experience will always be top priority. I think the fact that the game seems to have such a large percentage of loading screens taken out of the open world, uh, going into shops, going into stores, going into your, your house system, etc., to me is already a massive W, S transitioning into those cutscenes, right? Um, wh when, when you are in a story-based game like that, there's going to be cutscenes, and I mean, like, it, excuse me, uh, loading screens, and I think that's okay. Uh, it's not like the PS2 loading screens are going to take a million years or whatever. I, I honestly am not really worried about that. And I just think that it adds another layer of, um, I was going to say goodness. I, I can't come up with an analogy off the top of my head. I don't think this is bad. I don't think this is bad. I don't think this is something we should worry about. Like if someone's like, oh my God, they said there's no loading screens. And when I had to go into a, a, a boss fight, it loaded. It's like, well, that's not a big deal. Now, if if you have to go into a loading screen every time you enter your house... Your car, the car station, etc. When it's being marketed and shown that you don't need loading screens for that, then that's a little bit of a problem. That's where you're getting some like icky territory, you know. As Drake said, you know how sticky it gets. Yeah. All right. Vehicle and housing systems. With a vehicle customization, there must be racing, right? Will there be online multiplayer? Rest assured, the urban open world gameplay of Neverness to Everness will not be limited to what is shown in the trailer. We can, re we can reveal a little bit. Both vehicle and housing systems will have online multiplayer modes of future versions and related UGC, user-generated content. Gameplay is already in the planning stages. Stay tuned. I will say this. I had an ungodly amount of fun in the racing in TOF. It wasn't the most smooth by any stretch of the imagination. And honestly, I don't think the driving in GTA is that smooth at either. Uh, but it was a ton of fun. That I think TOF does, does very well with their events. And um, hearing that we have the chance to get racing is absolutely insane. I don't know what the housing system is going to be like. I don't know if like it's a Sims type system. I don't know. But the fact that they're like, hey, listen, look, this is eventually going to come. I think is a massive W's on the shot. W's on the shot. Nothing but positive stuff here so far. I really haven't found anything where I'm like, okay, this is like a red flag or this is something they need to address immediately. My assumption, my assumption is we can reveal a little bit. Both vehicle and housing systems will have online multiplayer, mo multiplayer modes in future versions. My assumption is it will not launch with multiplayer. And I think that is okay as long as there's enough content in the game, single player, to hold it off for a couple months. Because it's probably not going to be like the first patch or the second patch after the game comes out, right? It's probably going to take a little bit to develop, especially because I, this is pure speculation. This is 100% pure speculation. I get the feeling we are in the territory of the game being closer to release than everyone else is anticipating. I don't know if they're going to do a beta. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how they're going to drop this, but if we're not that close to the release per se, then I think we are very close to a beta, whether it's closed or open. I just, I, I feel it on my left titty. Maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm way off base here. But again, when I look at the game, I look at something like, okay, like this is, like this is good. Like this is bad. We need to see more. But this looks very fleshed out and it's dope. So, whatever. That's my rant. But that's great stuff. Character designs and model quality. The character shown in the trailer didn't really appeal to me. The models seem quite average. We received a lot of suggestions from players regarding character design and model quality, and we have taken them to heart. We are currently working on a series of optimizations for char character rendering and design. We will also be introducing more new characters soon and welcome your continued valuable suggestions. 
Uh, while I pull up the characters from the website, I just want to say, um, first of all, I, I like I look at this, and I think these are beautiful character designs. I think they look good. Um, I think they stand out. I mean, like they do kind of have a little bit of like the same face. I'm not gonna lie to you, but this this gives me like a combination of like Honkai model vibes, like Honkai Impact model vibes, but then like. The clothing of like a little bit of like um like Honkai and a little bit of like a Wuwa. Like I could see like this clothing being like someone in Wuwa. But I don't know. I don't think these models are bad, bro. I don't know. Like I just I don't think they're bad. I don't think they're bad. I don't think like these three characters in particular that were shown are the most mind blowing thing ever. It's like, wow, oh my god, that's crazy. But I don't think they need to be. These are probably gonna be like the three standard characters that you get introduced to immediately in the game. But the, I think they're unique enough to the point where, like, I could see, okay, this is Nanali, right? Nanali, this is uh, Sakari, and this is Mint. Also, what I like is that the names are not too complicated. I think that is a massive W, and I'm hoping that as the game goes on and progresses, they don't make complicated... Like, look, I love Wuwa, bro. Being, the character name, like, Jishi or, like, Zheng Li Yao... And, and all this other stuff, it's like, I, there, please, please stop. I'm too stupid for this. Please. So I, I, I also like, I like the names, but I like the design. I don't think it's bad. But uh, stories. I'm very interested in the open world gameplay, but the story shouldn't be lacking, right? And a crucial question: Can the story be skipped? Uh, to avoid spoilers, we keep the story details on the wraps for now. However, we can assure you that the tone of our story is humorous, lighthearted, and whimsical. Just as defined in the game introduction, a lighthearted comedy. We aim to bring you an enjoyable, anomalous adventure. And for the important question, uh, you can skip it. So um, I like the fact that you can skip the story, but um, I I will say the lighthearted comedy I think is cool. Um, but I, I hope that there is, you know, serious elements to it to the point where, like, it p picks up and, like, oh, wait a second. Like, there's some massive consequences here if, like, whatever the case would be, characters don't do this or characters don't do that or whatever, you know? Like, you see in the transitions, it goes from really nice and happy day to it gets really dark. And, like, obviously you're fighting, like, a trash can or, like, like a vending machine or something. like So, obviously, that's, like... Not whatever, like, like that's not the most serious thing, but the way that the atmosphere changes and the atmosphere itself when you're going into these combat, it has a more heavy, um, I don't want to say dark because it's not a dark tone, but it feels kind of like childish heavy. If I could pull up a, uh, a part of the video, I'm going to try to pull this up on the other monitor, but point is, I really don't want it to be to the point where like it comes off corny, you know, like it comes off uh weird and to the point where it's like oh this is just ha ha he he there's really nothing too crazy to it that's what i don't want like if we look over here there was the point where i'm gonna mute this for a second like something yeah like this like i look at this and like the colors are still vibrant right but it's still supposed to be kind of weird and have a serious tone to it where it's like is that blood? Is that red water? There's, like, tables everywhere. There's, like, the moon. Like, I, I look at this, I think of more of, a, like, a lighthearted version of, like, Acheron's, like, realm where it's, like, just all dark and stuff. So I just hope that there is some uh, seriousness to it as opposed to just being, like, a lighthearted comedy, you know? And then, like, the way that this is, like, it has, like, that darkness around it. Or, again, when you transfer in between the different combat zones, like, it does give a serious feel so um listen man i mean they, they can't spoil anything right like we have to wait and see so that i'm cool with so test schedule hopefully we get something uh the first impression is great but uh you won't go silent for releasing the trailer regarding the next steps for the game we actually included a small easter egg in the announcement trailer which many players have noticed neverness to everness will make its first offline exhibition appearance in september we look forward to meeting you soon and bring you more uh exciting new content I'd love, I'd love to love to love to get some sort of real date on here. That'd be really cool. Uh, open world Saturday. But yeah, cool stuff. You know, more stuff in September. I can't wait for September. 
Uh, overworld settings. I noticed there was no combat in the city shown in the trailer. Does that mean that all battles are triggered in the inner world? About this question, you might have also noticed from the game introduction that this is a world where humans and supernatural beings are uh, inseparable. The anomaly space shown in the trailer is just a specific rule set of their particular anomaly. There are many other anomalies with different rules that can be encountered or fought in the open world. And thank you uh, for listening to us talk about so much. We have always hoped to bring some great ideas, making NTE the game you want it to be. We'll also bring a version that you can experience firsthand. We welcome everyone to pre-register and follow NTE on all social media and avoid missing updates. We look forward to seeing you again in September. Yeah, I think a beta is on the horizon, man. I think a beta, obviously, like, they're not going to just drop the game without dropping a beta, right? I'd hope they wouldn't. <sighs> My bad, I cough. Um, but... The one thing I would definitely say is an open world that looks beautiful and nice and everything is cool. But if there really is nothing to do in that open world, especially like the scale of like the buildings and whatever, and like just the size of everything, if there's nothing to do, then it's then the gameplay value is going to go down drastically for a lot of players, including myself. I think there has to be stuff there to do. Like, again, Look, you look at this, you think of like GTA. GTA's open world has a million things to do. Now, obviously, GTA is a is a completely different style type of game. And I'm not saying like I want to go in and get like a haircut or like go to the gym and like San Andreas or something, you know, uh, like with CJ and stuff. But I do think that the open world should have some sort of... Obviously, they, they've confirmed there is going to be combat in the open world, which is nice. But I think there should be like that... Oomph, like there's got to be something. There's got to be puzzles. There's got to be challenges. You know, there has to be a reason to explore everything and, like, hidden treasures everywhere, you know? Like, it should be, it should be important. You know, when you play, like, the Spider-Man games, there's really not much going on, like, in, like, the other buildings and stuff. But the thing is, with those games, you can swing around and the, half the experience is just kind of, like, flying through the air and whatnot. You don't have that in this game, right? Um, you don't have that. And so, it seems more grounded, obviously, and you... So I just want there to be stuff in the open world. But yeah, man, I don't know. I I did not get the feeling. Like, if we go back to the combat real quick, it didn't look bad or, like, choppy. Uh, like, I I kind of like the designs. And I think, I think it looked good, man. Like, let's see. I don't know. Leave your comments below. Let me know what you think. I didn't think it looked crazy in a bad way. Um, I would love to know more about the elements. I would love to know what their what their plan is, for sure. But like when I watch this gameplay, I see like the hitboxes connecting, and it doesn't feel like a really crazy floaty game. Like let's say like Kingdom Hearts three or TOF. Like TOF is very floaty, and you feel like you're doing no damage. Like I don't get that vibes from this video game, uh, from this gameplay. So I'm a fan. But I do think there should be some depth to it, though. If it is just skill alt, the, the, again, the gameplay loop is going to fall off pretty hard. Because the thing is with Genshin, they have the elemental system. They have, like, elemental mastery and all those other stats and stuff. Widowing Waves has the parries, the dodges, the intro, the outro. So I do hope that there is depth to the game. And it's not just a left-click skill uh, alt. I do wish and hope for some depth to it and i really 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 pray that they're they launch with some sort of end game as well um i would love a raid i because i mean hey you know teal i've had raids i'm just saying but um i just hope that something launches with it where it's more than just again running around leveling your character getting to 90 or whatever the max level is and then after that just killing everything so that is my feedback man i think overall we're looking pretty good and i really believe that this game has the potential to take over the space if it is done executed in a way where the world is interactive enough the combat has enough depth and uh there's just enough stuff to do in the game I i'm gonna put the story to the side for a moment i mean like obviously you want the story to be good as well but i think from like a just a gameplay world perspective like th this is crazy we we haven't gotten obviously people compare this to project mugen and thought it was project mugen we haven't gotten this type of take on the game on this t genre with this like in a city like this so um yeah i am very excited and I hope it goes well. I hope it goes well. And I'm going to cover as much as this possible. And when the game drops, like, you know, the vibes will probably be like a 24-hour stream or some crazy stuff. So that being said, I love you. Let me know what you think. I love your mother a little bit more. I'll see you.